This is Mina Barsoom with CDOCS and welcome to the tip of the day. Today I want to talk about a specific technique I like to use, especially when I'm working on anterior teeth if I'm designing them in biogeneric individual. One of the techniques I like to use if the tooth has some characteristics that may be beneficial to copy, but maybe not enough to do a full biocopy, I'll designate the case as a biogeneric individual, and then I'll add a catalog of the existing or pre-op biocopy. So let's take a look at this case. This is tooth number six. We're gonna be doing a provisional crown for this patient. So in my administration phase, as you can see, I've designated the case as a biogeneric individual. Now in the acquisition phase, what I'll do is on the right hand side, I'll click on the add catalog button and I'll choose biocopy upper. What that allows me to do is create a new catalog to capture the pre-op condition, but not use it fully for my design. So I'll go in and scan the pre-op, scan the opposing and, and the arch that we're working on. And then now in my design, you'll see I received a biogeneric proposal but the benefit now is I can go in and turn on that pre-op biocopy to allow me to view my design in relation to what was there before. So you can see here my biogeneric individual design, a little bit short on the incisal, so I'll raise that just a bit. Again, I'm just using that pre-op condition to guide my proposal, not necessarily to copy it one for one. So I'll go in and make some small tweaks and adjustments to the proposal. Um, I can even look at the occlusion on the lingual and I can see there a couple areas that are a little bit premature. So we'll go it, we'll turn off our upper, our upper biocopy. I'll raise that area and then a nice tool I can use is the form add or form remove tool here and I can remove through that copy and it gives me kind of a safety net so it won't remove more than what that pre-op copy was. So it gives me a really good sense of control and predictability over the occlusion and the final position of the design. So it's a nice little tool you can use at, at your disposal if you design a lot of cases and maybe you don't want to do the whole thing out of biocopy, you can design it in biogeneric individual, use the copy to your advantage. So hopefully this was a helpful video. We look forward to seeing you again soon in future videos. Take care.